Hello everyone, on today's video, I'm going to show you guys how you can add export to CSV or Excel sheet functionality to your filament resources without using any third party packages. Basically, we're going to use the built in features inside filament. Now to show you guys a demo of how it works. Here I have my users resource, there are two main ways of exporting. One of them is a whole table export. And that is done using this button over here It's called export user. So if I click on it, Filament basically presents us a modal with ability to toggle on and off the ta the columns we want to export. So in this case, uh, you can if you don't want, for example, the name, you can toggle it off. It also gives you the ability to kind of change the co columns label in the final CSV file. So in this case, for example, I don't like ID. I'll change that to like a hash symbol. And after that, you just click on the export button and this will go ahead and export your entire table. It will then give your users like a notification, which is customizable. We can change the message. So in this case, I had 2000 users. It is telling us, hey, I exported 2000 users. And if we click on this bell button, we can go ahead and download it as either CSV or Excel SX file. All right, very simple. Uh, one more thing I want to show you guys before we leave. There is also the ability to export specific columns. So for example, the one I showed you exported the entire table. But sometimes you only want to export specific tables, maybe these three. Well, we also have that functionality. If we just select them using the checkbox, there is this export users and it will only export those specific, you know, those three users. So if I click on this and we look at the message, it only exported three users. OK, and last thing I want to show you guys is this is how the CSV files look. This is one I exported a couple of minutes ago. So as you can see, very simple looks very nice. Now that I should have showed you guys how it works, let's go ahead and code it up ourselves. All right, guys, I have gone ahead and reset the project back to its initial state. If you want to follow along, just make sure you have you're using the latest version of filament and you have, you know, any resource on your project. So in this case, I'm using my users resource. This will work with any filament resource, just make sure you have some data. So you can actually test the export functionality. All right, so the first step for us is to actually export the tables filament needs to handle the export functionality as well as the notifications I showed you guys at the top. So for this one, we do need to go ahead and navigate to the filament documentation. I will leave the link for this in the description, guys. I recommend you don't memorize these. I just refer to the documentation. They are generally very well documented. So if you want, you can go ahead and use the link in the description. Or if you want to find it yourself, just go to the filament documentation, make sure it's version three actions. And then under the actions, if you just scroll down, there is a section called pre-built actions and we are looking for export action, right? That's what we are doing. We are doing CXV export. So that's the only commands we actually need to run for today. So if you're using Laravel 11 or higher, run the above two as well as these two at the bottom. If you're using Laravel 10, which is probably going to be an existing filament project, go ahead and run these two commands here, as well as the, the ones below. OK, so just to show you guys how it works with Laravel 10, uh, I'm going to be using Laravel 10. But I assume if you're watching in the future, this part might be removed from the documentation or majority of you are going to be using Laravel 11. So make sure you use the first two commands. So I'm just going to copy these guys, move to my terminal, paste that in hit enter. And what this will do guys is it is going to export a bunch of tables. So for example, for job batching notifications, exports also for imports, as well as kind of failed import rules. So uh, some of these, for example, the import functionality, if you're not using it, it is going to be some extra tables. So you may want to remove those. But generally, if you're using export, you're probably going to be using import in the future. So it's good to keep those. And that's all we have to do for now. OK, so now that we have done this, guys, make sure you run uh, PHP Arts and Migrate if you haven't. Now, the way the process works, guys, first, we need to go ahead for every single resource that we are going to be exporting. We need to create something known as a filament exporter. And all it does is the exporter is a class that tells filament which columns are exportable and then how they should be exported. So let's go ahead and create an exporter for our users a resource. So I'm going to open up the terminal and type the following command. PHP Artsen make filament exporter. 
Again, that's the name of the class, exporter class. And after that, you need to give it a name. Generally, it's going to be the name of your model. So in this case, uh, I'm using users, right? So I'm just going to put user. That's all we have to do. Hit enter. And this will go ahead and create a file for you under app, filament, exports. And as you guys can see, it automatically added the exporter. So it's called user exporter. So let's go ahead and open up this file. And if we take a look at it, guys, it's a very simple class. There is this model which defines which model we are using for our exports. And there is another method called get columns. You probably can guess what it does. This is where we define which columns we have inside our table or inside our model, and then which one of them are exportable and some you know configurations for those exports. And last but not least, there is this extra method for the notification message for the success message. Uh, I told you guys it's customizable, where if, if you want to customize it, this is where you actually do it. Okay, for now, I like the default message that comes with filament, so I'm not going to be uh, customizing it. Let's go ahead and, and define all these columns over here. So the way you define these columns, guys, as you can see, it's an array. So we need to go ahead and use a class of type export column. And the way you use it is like this. You do export column make. And then inside here, you need to pass in the name of the column itself. So just to show you guys what columns I have inside my user model, I'm going to open up the model itself. And let's scroll up just for the fillable. I have a name, I have an email as well as a password. So for now, I'm just going to be giving the user the ability to uh, export name, email, as well as the ID, right? We can also look at the user's migration, I guess that would be a bit better. As you guys can see, this is my migration. You can technically export all of these, but in this case, I'm going to only allow the export of ID, name, and email. Okay, so let's close these and let's add them here. I'm going to put ID. And just to make life a bit easier, I'm just going to go ahead and copy paste these for name and email. So this one is going to be name. This one is going to be email. All right, that's it, guys. Super simple. That's all you have to do to define your columns. So, and if you want to add all the columns, you can add them here, or you can just add the ones you like. All right, let's save this. Now, if you go back and we do a reload, unfortunately, we won't be able to see this export button yet. So the next step for us is to actually add the export button. So in order to do that, we need to go ahead and open up our resource page. So in this case, it is my user model. I'm going to open up user resource. So let's go ahead and do that. As a matter of fact, I already have it open. Uh, over here. So let's open it up. As you can see, user resource. So if you are doing this for your post model, for example, you need to open up post resource, right? Scroll down until you reach your table method. The area we are interested in, guys, is this actions section. Now, if you already have a header action, you need to add it over there. If like me, you don't have header actions, we need to go ahead and add it. So you can add it anywhere you like as long as it's inside this table. So in this case, I'm going to put it after regular actions. So let's do that. I'm going to say header actions. And it's basically a method that accepts an array of actions. And what we have to do inside here, we need to add it an export action. So I'm going to say export action. Now, usually there are two import options. Make sure you are selecting filament tables actions. If you have autocomplete, or auto import. That's it guys. And let me show you guys again what the import is. As you can see, this is the import. Okay, export action. And the usage is similar to everything else in filament, we need to just do make. And if you want to give it any specific name, you can add it here. If not, the next step is for us to tell it which exporter to use. So we just created this user exporter, we need to say exporter, that's basically the name of the method and pass it in our exporter class. All right. So in our case, we created this user exporter. So we just need to pass it that. So I'm going to say user exporter class. That's it. So if in your case, for example, it was a post, you would use post exporter or uh, whatever your model name is. So that's it guys for our kind of uh, whole table export. If we save this and we go back, now we should be able to see this export button over here. So if I click on it, 
as you can see we get this and the functionality are indeed working so let's click on the export button it will go ahead and export it for us we even get the notification however we are missing that bell button over here and the reason for that is we we haven't enabled database notifications on our panel so there is one more thing we need to do before it's kind of fully works and so let's go ahead and open up our admin panel service provider so i'm going to just search for it uh, if you have created a custom panel you need to go and do that for every single panel you have in my case i already have it so i'm going to go in my providers filament admin panel provider open it up and under our panel you can put this anywhere here the order really doesn't matter i'm going to put it at the top so let's put it over here i'm going to say database notifications so that's all uh, you actually have to do so i'm going to do that and this will go ahead and enable database notifications and of course guys in order for this to work you need to make sure you do the first step which was exporting and adding all the database tables so now if i reload we should see these notifications at the top right i'm going to zoom in so you guys can see a bit better as you can see you should now have this bell button and if i click on it we get all the notifications and as you can see we exported uh, 2000 rows just a minute ago and the user has the ability to download excel sx or download a csv file just like this as you can see very nice now one more thing guys is right now if we try to do the kind of export specific rows like i showed you at the beginning of the video that functionality is not available yet so there is one more step we need to do if you want to give your users the ability to i would say bulk export or export specific columns or a specific rows sorry so and that's also very easy to do let's go back to our code and open up our resource page so just under your header actions there should be another section called the bulk actions and this is where we need to add uh, the next piece of code so under your bulk action add a new table option you can add it at the uh, uh, front of your table basically this uh, this array sorry or you can add it at the end usually by default there is going to be a bulk delete action so if you already have it you can put it afterwards if you don't have it it might be empty like this in both cases we just need to add export bulk action okay so this is a pre-built action and similar to the regular export action make sure it is coming from filament tables so i'm going to export that or import that and call create so make and the usage is exactly like export action we also need to add this exporter and that is it guys that's all we have to do so let's save this up and again this only works if it's inside bulk action so make sure you're only adding it inside bulk actions all right guys so if you now if you test it out basically we can select a couple of these rows click on export users uh, i'll change that to something else click on export and as you guys can see it exported only three rows all right pretty nice uh i want to show you guys a couple of more things before we leave and that is what if you want to for example only allow one file format as you guys can see right now we have two file formats that's also very easy to do so let's go back to our code uh on top of every export action you have both of these actually support this you can go ahead and call chain call another method called formats as you can see and i'm going to move these to a new line so it's a bit easier on the video and this formats accepts the list of supported formats so it's going to be an array i'm just going to pass it in an empty array and here you're going to have your list of supported formats now by default it only supports two formats which is csv and xlsx so if you want to add one of them you can just do export format this is an enum so it's under filament actions exports enums and if you actually open this class or this enum it has two 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 types csv xl sx so if you want both of them just ignore this don't add the code but if you want only one of them uh, this is how you do it so for example i generally only add csv so i'm just gonna copy that we can go ahead and add this over here okay so 
what this will do is it will give the user only the ability to export to a csv file and not xl uh, sv okay or xl sx and i'm going to copy this for the bulk export as well and let's move this one also to a new line and that's all we have to do guys so let's save this let's let me just show you guys that it does actually work uh, i'll just do a quick reload to make sure i'm gonna select these hit export again and if we take a look at it now we only have download csv now there are a lot more things you can do you can use relationships you can do computed columns things like that those are a little bit more advanced guys and the video is already pretty long but if you are interested or you want me to add a bit more about this definitely let me know in the comments and i'll make more videos on it all right hope you guys enjoyed today's video sorry again if it's a very long video usually these filament videos become very long since there is a lot to explain but i hope it is actually useful to you guys i will make another video for importing as well hopefully that will come out in a couple of days but that's it make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel if you still haven't and i see you guys on the next video have a great day bye